I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Alistair Caird, the Head of Critical Minerals for Loxley Resources. Alistair, it's a pleasure to have you on. How are you? Good, thanks Shay. How are you? Excellent and thank you for asking. Uh, now let's kick off today's conversation with your recent partnership that you've announced with Rice University and how this aligns with the US critical mineral goals. Yeah, sure. It's a very exciting one for, for the company and its shareholders. Um, so yeah, as you said, uh, a few days ago or on Monday earlier this week, uh, we announced the partnership with Rice University um, out of Houston, Texas in the States. Um, and the partnership uh, really came about um, as we were considering our resources at our Mojave project, um, which are, of course, antimony and rare earth elements, and really just looking at the full life cycle um, of those resources and just seeing if there are any, um, any gaps in the supply chain there. Um, you know, rare earths are, you know, they're... they're, they're um, abundant um, in the United States um, and uh, and offshore as well, obviously in China. Um, and, and the processing methodology um, of rare earths is very well understood, and you can get high purities. Um, but the antimony is, I guess, a little bit less of a trodden path, um, particularly in the United States. And we saw a real gap uh, in the supply chain there um, with respect to uh, processing methodologies. Um, and that's something that we uh, spoke to Rice University. Um, they have a great material science uh, division there um, and nanotechnology. Uh, and we're able to come up with a, um, a strategic collaboration uh, or a research project, um, you know, that, that will lead to commercial outcomes. And um, yeah, we're, we're very happy with uh, with the agreement. And um, yeah, we'll look forward to talking more about it with you. I'm going to pull on a thread in your answer just there. And this is where it ties very much to something I'm quite passionate to talking about. Uh, and that is processing methodologies. Now, we don't actually process antimony in Australia. In fact, this is something we pretty much offshored for environmental reasons. But I believe that with this uh, partnership, you are seeking to change this processing methodology. Why is that? What are you trying to achieve? Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, so as you sort of alluded to, um, you know, most of the processing of antimony uh, is done offshore. Um, and that's sort of twofold. Um, as you said, it is generally uh, not the most environmentally friendly uh, process. Um, and for that reason, you know, it makes sense to 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 do these processes offshore. Um, you know, you reference Australia, but it's much the same in the US. There isn't any capability in the US for antimony processing or very little capability, legacy capability. Um, and uh, it's much the same in Australia. And, and the second reason is uh, to offshore these, uh, historically, it is much cheaper. Um, so, you know, it's a bit of a no brainer, I think, in historically having these these uh, these processing pathways secured offshore. Um, but now, obviously, uh, with rising trade tensions uh, between the US and China, um, the US just doesn't have access uh, to this technology or these facilities any longer. Uh, and so there's a real urgency now, um, which, you know, thankfully we are hoping to, to address, um, which, you know, is, is obviously very beneficial for us as a company um, because it, dovetails nicely into uh, the feedstock we have at Mojave, and it means we don't have to process offshore. Um, but it's also great for our shareholders because it, it gives them another value stream um, in, in, in the Loxley business uh, and something that, you know, we can commercialise uh, at a broader scale. Uh, I do look forward to talking in more detail about what those commercial applications look like, but unfortunately we're going to run out of time in a moment. So to leave everybody on a hook, because I will absolutely insist on talking to you about this in more detail in the weeks ahead, what sort of immediate news flow, what's like the next step here investors can look forward to hearing about? Sure, yeah. So we are a, a, a very small and focused team and we are very busy at the moment. So, um, you know, immediately we have uh, we, we have um, just also announced a, a partnership with a company called GreenMet out of the US, um, and they are looking at um, supporting us in uh, applying for uh, in-country funding. So in the US. Um, and so we're working actively towards that, as well as some other strategic objectives uh, in the US. We have a, a small geolo geology team on site currently at our Mojave project. 
Um, they are conducting a second round of structural mapping there and looking uh, with the objective to look for um, further drilling targets, um, you know, in both rare, and, uh, rare earth elements and antimony in the north block of Mojave. Um, we have a small team going over to Rice uh, very shortly in the first or second week of September, and that is when we'll officially kick off the, the, the Rice partnership and the strategic program there. But really, I mean, for our shareholders, the, the big catalyst uh, is going to be the drilling at the Mojave project. So we have uh, the rare earth uh, prospect there, El Campo, and we have the desert antimony mine prospect, which is obviously for antimony. Uh, so we're going to be drilling across both of those prospects uh, in uh, late September, early October at this stage. And so you'll be looking toward having um, rig mobilizations or rig contracts and mobilizations, and then you know looking towards drill results as they come to hand. So it's, it's going to be a big few months for the company. Uh, it certainly is. Listen, I really appreciate your time today and you can bet your bottom dollar, Alistair, I will uh, want to speak with you about this again soon. Thank you so much for being here. That's great. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Shane.